I guess you love movies. I do too. Hi guys and welcome back to another movie review and today we are going to be reviewing Red Sparrow starring Jennifer Lawrence. Um, she's teaming up with her uh, director from the last three Hunger Games movies, uh, Francis Lawrence, for this Russian spy thriller. I'm a big fan of Jennifer Lawrence as an actress. I think she's very, very good. Obviously, she's very popular at the moment. Um, she hasn't made anything for a little while, um, but she's been in a lot of movies over the last few years, and I really enjoy her um, as an actress. I think she's very, very good. However, I think recent career decisions, you can definitely tell that she wants to get away from the sort of blockbuster X-Men films, the last X-Men film, X-Men Apocalypse. She didn't really look like she was interested. So I'm happy to see her doing something uh, maybe a little bit different. Um, but I really like her in films like Silver Lines Playbook and American Hustle, especially David O. Russell films. She um, gives really good performances. Um, and obviously I really enjoyed the second um, of the uh, Hunger Games movies. I like the first one as well, but Francis Lawrence obviously directed Catching Fire. He did the other two Mockingjay films, but I wasn't huge on those movies. So going into this, I kind of had mixed expectations. I, um, the reviews aren't particularly great for this movie, so I went into it kind of expecting an average movie, um, and what I got was pretty similar to that, I would say. So this movie is about a former prima ballerina, um, played by Jennifer Lawrence in Russia, um, who is recruited by uh, the Russian Special Services um, and is enrolled into a, a spy school called Ritz, called the Sparrow School. Um, where she becomes sort of, you know, dangerous uh, sort of intelligence agent. Um, and she has to infiltrate this CIA agent played by um, Joel Edgerton. So, what did I think of this movie? Well, there are a few good things about this film, and I'm going to get into them first of all. Um, firstly, Jennifer Lawrence gives a pretty good performance in this movie. Her Russian accent is minimal. There are a few moments where they, it kind of verges on American again, but she is pretty decent throughout. She doesn't try and be over the top in terms of her accent and I really enjoyed that um, part of the movie. I thought she was very good in the film overall. Also I think this film is very well shot, um, good production design, well, good looking, you know, good cinematography throughout um, and those are pretty much my main positives for this movie because however good looking and reasonably well acted this film is, it's just incredibly generic um, and that's really my main issue with this film is it, it lacks very much atmosphere or um, intensity, it, it's very dull, it's very, you know, sterile. It doesn't really have very much impetus um, and intensity about the film. It's very, it's very bland. Um, it's a little long, um, I felt like it was being stretched out a little bit. This is really my main problem with the film, it just doesn't really do anything new. Um, it's, it's a very generic spy thriller. Uh, the way they set up the beginning of the film um, with the intercutting of the two characters, Joel Edgerton and uh, Jennifer Lawrence's character, as soon as they, as the movie starts, you know exactly what's going to happen. If you know anything about the film, if you know the the synopsis, if you've looked on in IMDb, you more or less know exactly what's going to happen in this film because it's well trodden territory at this point. We've seen Russian spy movies before, and this doesn't really do anything very different at all. Um, but if the movie isn't different and you really want it to try and do something where the characters are interesting or the relationships are interesting, but really they just go in really safe directions with this film. You know, Jennifer Lawrence, she she breaks her leg, she has to, you know, quit being a ballerina. Um, there's many things she could do to earn money for her, her mother, because her mother's sick, which is a, a well, well-used film cliche for people doing stupid things. Oh, I need money so because my parent or my sibling or someone is ill, I need to pay bills for. How many times have we seen that in a film where that's the reason for this insane decision? And it's the same here with Jennifer Lawrence's character in this movie. You could literally work anywhere. You could do a lot of things instead of becoming an agent, you know, a secret service agent. And I think that that is one of the main problems with this film, but also uh, Joel Edgerton in this movie, he's fine in the film, he's okay, but he really doesn't have any backstory, he's just a generic CIA agent, that's really all he is. Um, and their obvious relationship that occurs throughout the film feels really forced, they don't really have any chemistry. The first sex scene that they have is incredibly awkward, and I understand what they're trying to say here, which I'll get into later on in the review, but it really doesn't feel like there's any chemistry, it feels really tacked on and forced, this romance, and it does not work for me in this film. 
And the last thing really is that Jennifer Lawrence has come out recently talking about her political views and how she wants to get young people into politics and stuff. And she obviously has um, political motivations um, in this industry. And that, that's completely understandable. If you want to get out your views and get out what you think and feel, movies are a great way to do that. But in this film, she's obviously trying to make comments about the sexual harassment scandal in Hollywood because this movie is about how these women um, and agents have to use their bodies and seduce these people to get information out of them and how the they kind of blackmail them into using their bodies in order to get information and stuff you know like she has to do this in order to survive like how these women in Hollywood who aren't known or are budding actresses are, you know are used for sex so that they can get where they are they sort of you know sexual blackmail this movie is obviously trying to talk about that in a serious way. It's trying to comment upon the Hollywood um, sort of system. But the problem is this movie is not strong enough. It's a generic spy thriller. If only you should have picked a more, you know, interesting and convincing work to, you know, put this view forward and to talk about this subject. But this movie just isn't strong enough to carry it. Um, and overall, I found this to be an incredibly generic movie, very bland and sterile. Jennifer Lawrence does her best, it's well shot, but overall, we've seen this a million times before and it's incredibly forgettable. Um, I'm going to give Red Sparrow 6 out of 10. Uh, so there you go, there's my review of Red Sparrow. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, drop your comments down in the section below. If you've seen the movie, let me know what you thought. Um, this isn't offensive or anything, this isn't a bad film, it's just incredibly disposable. There's really nothing special about it. Um, and I think Jennifer Lawrence should definitely try and do something a little bit more ambitious in the future. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Goodbye.